Yes, that man can sing. Well, this is Christopher Jackson. Christopher, thank you, brother, for joining me. Thank you for having Appreciate me. Appreciate that. Man. Singing the anthem, baseball games. Was yeah. That one of your highlights? I mean, it's always a highlight. This is why I do it. At the, at the turnstile of ever, to get on the field, at any stadium you go to in America, there's going to be a couple of guys there, and they're going to have a Marine tattoo on their forearm or a mm. Navy tattoo, or they're going to have a pin on their, on their vest, and that's why it, it's worth it to do that. Yeah, uh, that's real that's, cool. As an artist, it's one of those very easy ways to be able to give back now, and see a great game. <laughs> now, most of the youngsters today, they're tuning in and going, hold on, I know that dude. That's George Washington from Hamilton. Yes, indeed. <laughs> How often do you get asked about that? Quite a bit. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of a big show. I don't know if you know this. Yes, yeah, a little bit. I but it's a pretty a popular times. show. Oh, my God. Captured, captured the country's imagination for, for quite a while. Held it really tightly. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's a thrill. Yeah. We, I'm, I make things for people to enjoy. Yeah. So I'm glad that folks I love have responded that. Well, to you touched on two things. You talked about military. Yeah. You talked about the history of George Washington. And you're a history guy. And really, we're here. I want to talk to you about the history of Jackie Robinson. Ah. The museum's incredible. Ebbets Field sits behind us. Your early thoughts of Jackie Robinson when you were a kid? I was born in 1975, so for me, this is before Magic and Bird. This is before uh, uh, Michael Jordan just kind of changed the way we even look at sports. So being able to, to read a story or to learn a lesson about someone like Jackie Robinson in the context of what he came up through, being a true baseball fan, you know, in every way. Yeah. The only other thing I'd love to be doing if I wasn't doing what I do is being a retired Major League Baseball player. Because <laughs> they get to play golf <laughs> and hang out with guys like you. So, um, no, but, you know, Jackie Robinson, it, it's really, I grew up in a very small town in southern Illinois. Besides my immediate family, the, the heroes were those mythic fi figures that lived, out, that lived yeah. out there in the imagination. And knowing that Jackie Robinson was one of those figures, uh, That's cool. It's just sort of like, what else is there? You know, I don't have many regrets at all in life, uh, but looking back, the one thing I regret in the big leagues is we didn't wear 42 like the guys today get mm. to wear 42. Yeah. It is so cool. Uh, how often do you grab some Jackie Robinson 42 or something like that? Do you wear it now? It's become a cult thing. It's popular. I hit the gift shop right before I made my way in here. So, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm always excited. And I think as a, as a baseball fan, you know, and especially in the context of our days, it's nice to see that happening league-wide and allow the entire world of baseball to appreciate all of the things that that 42 represents. Yeah. Well, you know, it's interesting. Dave Henderson I played with, he, he wore number 42. And one day I said to Dave, I go, Dave, when are you going to get a real number? Because I didn't know. Right. And he's like, that's Jackie Robinson's number, man, number 42. <laughs> and I was like, wow, that's amazing. But when I look back at Jackie, and this is going to be my question for you, what stands out? I, I look at the history of his civil rights movement and look at him as a ball player as well. And the museum's set up that way sure. as well. What stands out for you, the ball player or, or what he meant in the country? I don't know that you can separate the two in our understanding of who just the man and yeah. the myth and the legend. The problem that we tend to have in America is that we, when, we, when we turn these real, very, very real people into these mythic characters, we, we can sometimes rob their humanity from them. Right. So the right. value of what he accomplished is only made rich because of the struggles that he had to endure and the, f and, and the moment that he came to be who we know him to be, which was in high school, in college, yeah. in, the, you know, in the minor leagues, in the Negro leagues, and ultimately in the major leagues. The major leagues became the major leagues when they actually included the best of the best. That's why we celebrate sport, right? We, yep. want, we want the person who can perform under pressure and deliver in, the, in, in clutch moments, and we celebrate those, those figures. People like Jackie take a, an ordinary day with everything he had to endure, and they make it an incredible moment. And it's all encapsulated in him and in his family and the legacy of the millions of people that he touched. And now, 42 day. Right, oh, yeah. every year, yeah, and we see it, and we're reminded to not just look at the at the shiny stuff, but to look at the at the struggle for it, and that's I think at the heart of why we love sport and why we love Jackie Robinson. I love that. Before I let you go, I got to ask you this though: uh, being in the profession you're in as an actor, yeah. the movie Forty Two really educated so many people. Uh, when you look at that movie, how important was that? And, and obviously you had a great relationship with Chad as well. But how important was that movie? Do you think for kids today? I think it was incredible. I think you know. 
just as it happens throughout all the generations, we tend to view things through the lens of now, and it's really hard to capture in a, in a what we feel like is an authentic kind of way what happened, you know, 60, 70, 80 years ago, right? Yeah. So to see that in bright, beautiful Dodger blue and to see Chad do what he did in the way that he did it, uh, just a masterful performance and a great film that I think will will truly help tell the story in its totality for a long time. Appreciate it. Well, you keep helping us tell stories too, man. Appreciate yes, you.